the integumentary system. The integumentary system, it protects the organs inside the body. It also functions for insulation, regulation of heat, excretion of waste, and many more. Skin is the largest organ of the body. The three layers of the skin, epidermis, dermis, and the subcutaneous layer. Epidermis. It is also called the cuticle. It is the outermost layer of the skin. It appears scaly because it is composed of layers of flat and dead cells. These cells are filled with keratin, which is a substance that blocks water and microorganisms from entering the skin. Pores, tiny openings through which sweat and oil leave the body. Found at the bottom layer of the epidermis are cells that produce melanin, the pigment that determines the color of the skin. Melanin. Its function is to protect the skin by absorbing the ultraviolet rays from the sun. People with darker complexion have more melanin, therefore more protection from the sun. Dermis. is the layer found under the epidermis. The cells found here are alive and contain the protein collagen. This layer contains sweat glands, oil glands, hair follicles, and blood vessels. Because of the presence of the nerves here, one is able to sense touch, pain, heat, and pressure through the skin. The subcutaneous layer is a layer of fat below the dermis. Aside from serving as storage for food and energy, the layer serves as an insulator of heat. This layer also contains larger blood vessels and nerves. The thickness of this layer differs from person to person and varies depending on its location in the body. Oil glands release oil known as sebum which is skin's natural moisturizer, which keeps the skin from drying up. To some extent, it also repels water, making the skin waterproof. Too much production of sebum may clog the pores and infect the glands, causing pimples or acne. Hair It is made of keratin. It grows from the hair root, which is contained in the hair follicle embedded in the skin. It extends through the epidermis and protrudes from the skin. The cells that make up the hair strand are dead and keratinized, and the only living part of the hair is the bottom part where new cells are produced. Functions of the hair The hair in the nose and ears filter dust particles. Eyebrows absorb and deflect sweat to protect the eyes. Facial hair reduces the skin's exposure to UV rays. Hair in the scalp protect the head and the skull from abrasion. Nails are made up of keratin. They form in and from the root cells of epidermis. They also protect the sensitive fingertips and toes from injury. Under the nails are nerve endings that function in the sense of touch. Glands release substances through the pores. The main glands of the skin are the sweat glands and the oil glands. Sweat glands help in the excretion of waste by releasing the excess water and salts. Also function in the regulation of the body temperature. Oil glands also called as the sebaceous glands 
secrete an oily substance called sebum. Sebum lubricates and waterproofs the surface of the skin and hair. Did you know that the skin is the largest organ of the body and it weighs more than twice the brain? Hope you have learned something. Great job! See you on our next lesson. Take care. Bye!